Hey guys, Wes Burke here. Today I wanted to run you through some of the new features and style of the BlenderArtist.org dark theme. Now we do have a dark theme launch today, though we are also going to be working on a light theme. So if you still prefer the light background, we are uh, accommodating that. It's just going to take a little bit longer. So what you, the first thing you'll notice is that we have an upgraded logo and branding for, for Blender Artist. It's still very much its own site and brand, and that's something that uh, we're hoping to keep and make sure it's recognizable. Uh, the dark theme, is the, one of the biggest features that you might notice, which I'll jump to right away, is the featured image section. And this is pretty neat. What this is is the, the featured image or thread that uh, you know we find that's important in the community. Or we're seeing, uh, you know, a great gallery image comes in, or like this week we have the Blender Conference uh, news, or Tears of Steel is released, and so this will update, you know, the latest ones on the left. They kind of shuffle down to the right, and then they, you know they they fall off. But this hopefully will help give some attention to, you know, some kick our Blender artwork that gets published to the site, and some news that makes it there as well. Now, of course, if you're thinking, hey, you know what, Wes, with this new feature, I can't see the site, or I really don't want to see this, no problem. We added this hide feature row <laughs> feature that you can hide this uh, this widget, and it'll remember that based on your user ID. So that's pretty sweet. Anything through here is relatively the same. You know, as far as how threads and posts work, they're all exactly the same. The only thing that's different is really the aesthetics. Some new features that happen with the recent V Bulletin upgrade is the What's New section. And mainly what this is is just an activity stream of the entire site, the latest things happening. Um, you know, it's almost kind of like uh, the What's New or uh, today's post. The other thing that we're adding, which was uh, recently added, was the Blender Meetups. This is mainly, uh, I think this was started by Bart from Blender Nation, but we really want to kind of help promote the, the Blender Meetups around the world. So make sure to check that out, see if there's a Blender Meetup meet next to you. Uh, we have the traditional stuff new to Blender, Site Help, BA, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, that's just the social networks for the site. Another new thing that we currently have active, uh, admittedly we weren't sure if we wanted to keep active, just we didn't know how that fit the site, but under community we now have groups. And in groups, uh, you can create a group your own, you're by yourself. So this is a student group created here. Uh, you can work together on a project together, which would be great, and you can have your own threads, your own kind of little private section of the site that you can work to, you know, collaborate. So it's a pretty cool feature. We'll, we'll see what you guys think of it, and uh, if, you, if you find it useful or not. Nothing really new is down here on the footer as far as, fu as functionality. Now, with this being a new theme and uh, the vast depthness of a V Bolton. There's bound to be some things that we missed, and just bear with us. Let me know on the thread, or you can shoot a support ticket to support at cgcookie.com, and I'll work to try to get that fixed up right away. But yeah, as you can imagine, with the depths of V Bolton, there's a lot of things to style, and a lot of little things that could slip through, and this, you know, let. Mostly they're not intentional if you see them. What's pretty neat with the gallery, it looks really good on the, the dark background. You get the attached images show up in a nice modal window that pops up. Uh, what's actually really neat too is I'll show the, the Python thread. There we go. Is that this looks really good too? Where we looked at the images and we also looked at how it does you know code look when it's copied in here. Let me find a. An example of this. This is an example of the new quotes, how they're styled, so they kind of stick out as being a quote. Let's see if I can find. Maybe there's some code in here. Yeah. So here's the new, you know, copy the code, code snippets in there. All looks still pretty sweet. Um, yeah. So that's a new dark theme. I hope you guys dig it. Uh, again, send feedback on the thread or you know, better support at cgcookie.com, and uh, I'll try to answer what I can. Thanks, guys.